Listen, the moment I started seeing my boss's income, that's when I realized we're getting fucked. So in this video, to make you understand why you think you're making a lot of money, but actually someone's taking advantage of you, I'm going to show you the story of how most bosses become bosses. And by showing you this story, you will understand why getting a high paying job is actually not like a blessing you're actually being taken advantage of. And the only reason people make you believe that $30 an hour is a lot of money is because they know how much money there is out there and they don't want you to get that part of it. Think about it. Don't you feel it strange that someone would take the responsibility of taking charge of other people, have to do all the business taxes? Do you think they do this? Do you think they do it for fun? Do you think that's fun? The reason bosses put up with that is because they make so much more fucking money than you think they do. And that's why they don't tell you how much money they make, by the way. That they're willing to take all those fucking responsibilities and do all that shit despite of it. So here's the story of how most bosses become bosses. They started just like you. They're employees and they feel like for some reason their job sucks and they'd like to do something else. Okay, they feel either they're not making a lot of money, it's annoying, or they feel they're tired of getting their boss or managers just shitting on them and asking them to do stuff they don't want to, treating them like shit, and they'd like to be in charge of the situation. Or maybe they see that their company is actually being absolutely fucking stupid in their decisions, their managers are stupid, and they think they'd do a better job leading a company than what their boss is currently doing. So a young employee with big dreams decides, hey, I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to start selling my own services. So instead of working as a programmer building websites for boss, they start being their, they start being a programmer themselves and going to companies directly and offering them their services. But what happens is that when they start offering their services, they realize that it's a lot easier to get clients because when you ask $30 per hour to companies, you realize that they're very quick to tell you yes, because nobody else asks that low. So you start wondering, okay, I used to get paid $30 an hour. So if people are willingly paying me that and you see it on their face that like, it's almost ridiculous. You start wondering how much more money can I charge? So you start upping your salary to $45 an hour. Same result, people still don't respect you and people still say yes right away because you're cheaper than everybody else. So you start raising your money and you start raising it until you realize that the real fucking value of a website is $85 an hour, you fucking dumbass! That's what I saw in my fucking income statements of my boss! Why do you think he pays you 30 you fucking dumbass! Why do you think it makes you believe that 30 is a lot of money? Because if you fucking realize that you can make 85, you wouldn't work for him. So boss realized that he makes 85 and he realized that most people actually make $15 an hour or shit outside and he realized, hey, if I convince them to work for me and I tell them, hey, if you make this website for me, I'm going to give you $30 an hour. He knows everyone's going to say yes because everyone makes less than that. So he, tell, he gets them to work for 30 and they're like, wow, this is my best job ever. I'm going to so do a good job for you, boss, because you're amazing. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And so people work like fucking madmen while this guy keeps the 50, you know, 85 minus 30 is still $55. Okay. Now here's the interesting thing. Okay. If boss worked on his own, he'd make $85 an hour. But here's the interesting thing. If boss has one employee, he can just spend a couple of hours every week getting him contracts. You know, one employee can work, make one website a week about, about that, about, about one website a week. At $30 an hour, that's about $1,200 a week, okay? But at $85 an hour, that's almost three times that. So it's about uh, $3,600 a, a week. So now Boss sells two websites at $360, which gives him 
seven twenty per week that he gets from his clients and only pays a fucking thirty dollars an hour to you. So he ends up with a goddamn six thousand. Okay, but boss realized, oh my god, if I had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten employees, how much money could I make? Because if he spends two hours selling a fucking website, he manages to make like, <clears throat> he manages to make 2,400s of profit. So what do you think happens when boss realizes that he'd make a lot more money if he stopped making website and just got people to believe that thirty dollars is what the, the 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 work is worth. What do you think happens? He just starts building an agency. He starts having a fuck ton of employees, and if he works like twenty hours a week, he, he can get like ten people working for him, which gives him like uh, twenty four. 24,000 a week for working 20 hours a week. I used to live far from my workplace. I used to not even have enough money to pay for a fucking car. And when I realized my boss was charging 85 fucking bucks to his clients and paying me 18. You know, time to stop wondering why he gets you painting in his fucking house every week. Start time to stop wondering why he has that beautiful fucking car. Why he can go on on <clears throat> he can go travel whenever he fucking wants. Time to stop wondering why you'll never fucking be a millionaire because you work for less than fucking half than what your job is worth. If you even stop working for someone and just start working for yourself, you fucking idiot! And stop just thinking that you cannot get clients on yourself. It takes about two hours of work to get your fucking clients for your week. If you took just, if you took just two hours of work every week and you just fucking learned to fucking get clients on your own, you just could, you, you just start making 85 right away, you fucking dumbass! And any job that you manage to get paid over $20 an hour, you can bet that guy's making a lot more money. There's a guy I met, he made $53,000 a month. And the guy knew people who were in charge of architecture firms, and he realized that, yeah, same thing, same thing applies. The guy who's getting paid $18 an hour to make the plans doesn't know his boss is actually charging $115. And people think, oh, I don't need to learn to sell. I should just get a job. Here's what happens when you get a job. You're still having trouble to pay for the car you want. You're still having trouble. You can't travel when you want. You can't just take weeks off whenever you want. You have to get your boss to tell you, yes, you have to be as fucking, you ask, you have to be as fucking mongrel. Okay? It's not just about the money, it's also about the freedom of doing whatever you fucking want, whenever you want. And guys, the moment you manage to get paid $85 an hour, your whole life fucking changes. So my recommendation to you guys is just to understand that, hey, you think you're making a lot of money, but you're not. Okay? And instead of just being afraid of going starting your business because everybody around you who has never tried it tells you it's risky, just go fucking try it, spend a couple of dozens of dollars on sales courses and go try to get clients on your own. You'll realize you can get paid a lot more than you think. And if you think like, hey, but who would be willing to pay me $85 an hour? Think about it. If you're a really good programmer and you're working for a big company like Walmart, you think Walmart gives a fuck if you ask $85 an hour, I'm not just saying Walmart, even medium companies would be really glad to pay you a good amount of money because if they make like a million dollars a year in revenue, do they care that you cost them $4,000? Do they give a fuck? <clears throat> if you bring them 1% more money per year, that's still $10,000. And 1% and is if you fuck up on your website. Normally, you're probably going to give them a, a lot more than that. Okay, a really good website can even sometimes double, triple their revenue. And the best thing you can do is just to learn to go see these medium companies 
and convince them that they should hire you. Convince them that you're a fucking expert because then when you, when you tell them, hey, give me $85 an hour, what do you think they're going to say? And my recommendation to you, okay, if you want to learn that the best course that I've seen, okay, because I've been through over a hundred thousand dollars worth of online courses and the best course that I've seen on freelancing is actually Seth Godin's freelancer course. You'll find a link to it in the description and it's a better course on selling your services yourself and not needing a boss and be able, being able to charge the real money that your job is worth, which is $85 an hour in case you're a web developer. I know because I've been there and I've seen how much my boss charges. So go check out Seth Godin's freelancer course. And for fuck's sake, stop thinking that making $30 an hour makes you lucky or make you rich. Because if only you knew how much your boss fucking makes, you'd think you're fucking poor. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe because very soon I'm going to make a video where I'm going to share with you my email templates that you can use to send to companies that you want to work with. So if you want to see exactly how I would do it, subscribe and you're going to see these email templates very fucking soon. Thanks again for watching and take care.